We got rid of over 600 bugs in the last video, so the add a cat to that app should be pretty secure, except I can't remember if I removed the debug switch in the code I checked in at 2 a.m. last night. Stick around to see how Web Security Scanner helps protect you from inevitable mistakes like this. Mistakes happen, even to the best of us. No matter how great developers are, we're going to accidentally introduce bugs to the code base. Luckily, Google's Web Security Scanner can do automatic testing to your deployed code to find bugs and unintentional vulnerabilities introduced to the code base. It's really easy to use. Let's see it in action. From the simple web UI in GCP, we create a new scan. We point it at a staging URL for our app, not the production URL because Cloud Security Scanner is going to be fuzz testing or throwing a whole lot of wacky data at our app, and we don't want to risk corrupting the live version of our app. In this example, we've put in a Kubernetes pod address there. I'll leave everything else at its default and then set Cloud Web Security Scanner to run daily. And after about 15 minutes, you should be able to see what the output looks like. And we see here, oh, Cloud Web Security Scanner found a few issues. See, Cloud Web Security Scanner starts crawling around all the URLs it can find and starts looking for these known vulnerabilities. Here you see it found some cross-site scripting issues. By clicking on the known vulnerability, we can see the issue in our admin login page. Just from the UI, we're able to dig in and get the exact way to replicate that bug so that we can troubleshoot and then fix it. So we're going to show you this bug live, and then we're going to fix it right now so that we can knock yet another vulnerability off of Add a Cat to that. If we take that HTML from Web Security Scanner, we can see right in our UI that instead of showing the email address of the person who tried to log in, our app is displaying weird stuff. If we go and look at the login page HTML, where Web Security Scanner got that HTML from, we can look and see that I accidentally left in a safe flag which disables cross-site scripting prevention. Once we take that out and push that build to production, Web Security Scanner will continue doing its daily scan and letting us know about any other vulnerabilities it can detect. The coolest part about this whole process and the tool is that Web Security Scanner doesn't cost you anything to use. It's a free and easy, low friction, fire and forget tool. It's not perfect. It won't protect you from a sophisticated attack or a new clever zero day, but it will help you with a lot of those common, easy to prevent errors that may have slipped past your code review process. Once you set up that daily scan, it's going to keep going. Okay, the supply chain is secure. We've set up automatic web security scans. This app should be secure. What's left? M me, me, oh me, phishing. That's right, we've protected our software. It's time to protect our developers. Don't miss the next video. We're gonna talk about preventing one of the oldest and most common vulnerabilities, phishing.